President Donald Trump doubled down on his tough stance on trade promising that the U.S. would no longer be the piggy bank that everybody is robbing. Trump spoke to the media before he departed Charlevoix, Canada, saying he didn't blame other countries for what he says is an unbalanced trade relationship which negatively impacts the U.S. I don't blame them, I blame our leaders, he said. In fact, I congratulate leaders of other leaders for so crazily being able to make those trade deals that were so good for their country and bad for the United States. People can't charge us 270% and we charge them nothing, that doesn't work anymore, he said. We are like the piggy bank that everybody is robbing, he said. And that ends. His comments came after he tried to lighten the mood at a G7 breakfast on gender equality on Saturday by trading friendly banter with his allies after keeping them waiting by showing up late then declaring the summit an immense successes. The president eventually took his seat next to IMF Managing Director Christine Lagarde and German Chancellor Angela Merkel who had been pictured gazing towards the door and his empty seat as they sat with fruit and croissants in front of them. He spoke jollily with them and received adoring looks from his French president Emmanuel Macron. Trump said he had effectively communicated his plan to reduce trade tariffs but did not indicate what the reaction was from foreign leaders, saying only that his relationships with Merkel, Macron, and Trudeau were all a 10. The U.S. has been taken advantage of for decades and we can't do that anymore. We had extremely productive discussions on fair and reciprocal, that means the same trade. We want and expect other nations to provide fair market access to American exports, he said. He injected additional controversy by suggesting that the G7 offer a seat at the table to Russia, which was ousted from the group after it annexed Crimea. I have not spoken to Vladimir Putin for quite a while. It has been discussed. Some people like the idea of bringing Russia back in, this used to be the G8. Something happened a while ago, he said, referring the annexation of Crimea which sealed Russia's ousting from the G7.